welcome back to my channel. I am Amy and I am here to help you with your spoken English, your vocabulary and your communication skills. Now if you are new here, please feel free to watch my other videos too and you can also follow me on Instagram at English underscore with Annie. I will leave the link in the description below. Now English is not a phonetic language which means that the words are often not pronounced the way they sound. And then there are silent letters. Almost 60% of the words of the English language have silent letters in them, which makes the pronunciation even more difficult. It's like, what is the point of adding these letters if we are going to omit it later? But don't worry, I have got some basic rules for each letter that will help you identify when these letters are silent and when not. Now remember, even though these are definitive rules, However, there are exceptions to every rule. With that being said, let us begin the A to Z of silent letters. Let us start with the first letter, the letter A. The letter A is often silent when it comes before a double L Y. For example, when we say romantically, we do not say romantically. We say romantically. Other examples are logically, magically, musically, diagonally. So remember, the rule for the letter A is never pronounce the A when it comes before double L Y. Moving on to the next letter B. The B is often silent when it comes after an M or before a T. As you can see in this word, subtle, we do not pronounce the letter B when it comes before an T. We say subtle, subtle. Other examples are debt and doubt. Now for the rule when the letter B is not pronounced when it comes after an M. For example, comb, womb, tomb, plumber, thumb, dumb. However, the exception to these rules are remember, obtain and obstruct. The letter C is often silent when it comes after an S or before an I, E or Y. The examples are scissors, scene, yacht, science, muscle, fascinate. The letter D. The letter D is often silent when it comes before an N or a G. In the words such as Wednesday, pledge, grudge. Some random words which have the letter D silent in them are handsome and sandwich. The letter E. Now we all know that we do not pronounce the letter E when it comes at the end of the word. For example, bake, cake, mate. However, I like to call this as the magic E. When there's an E at the end of the letter, the vowel before it becomes a more powerful sound. For example, in the words such as strip, when we add E at the end, it becomes stripe. The I in it becomes a more powerful sound such as stripe. stripe. Other examples are hate, face, sight, mate, hope. The letter G is often silent when it comes before an N. Examples are align, foreign, design, champagne, sign. The exceptions to this rule are the words magnet and signature. The letter G is also not pronounced when it comes before an H and after a vowel. For example, in words such as light, high, tough, through, the letter H is silent when it is followed by a W. For example, what, when, why. However, the H is not silent when it is followed by an O. In words such as who, whom, whoever, the H is also silent at the beginning of certain words such as honest, ah, uh, honor. The next letter I, luckily I is never silent in any of the words. Moving on to the next letter, the letter K. K is always silent before an N at the beginning of the word. For example, knowledge, night, knife. Moving on to the next letter, the letter L. The letter L is always silent after an A, O or U. For example, calf, yoke, walk, talk, should. The letter M. The letter M is usually never silent. So we will move on to the next letter, the letter N. The letter N 
is always silent after an M at the end of the word. For example, autumn, column, dam, hymn. Hymn is usually a song that is sung in churches. The letter P. The letter P is usually silent in letter combinations of PT, PN and PS at the beginning of the word. Psychology, psychiatrist, pneumonia. The letter R fortunately is never silent in English language. However, in the British accent, the letter R is often silent. For example, instead of water, they will say water, water. So the R is silent in the British accent. The letter S is silent before an L in the following words island, isle, debris. The letter T. Okay, we are very close to the end. Now for the letter T, it is quite difficult to come up with a definitive rule. Usually anything ending in STN has a silent T. For example, listen, moisten. Also, the words ending in S-T-L-E are likely to have a silent T in them. For example, hustle, whistle, castle. Now, this word is often mispronounced as asthma. The T is silent in this word. So, it's asthma, asthma instead of asthma. The letter U is silent when it comes after a G at the beginning of the word. For example, guess guide moving on for the letter w now w is usually not pronounced when it comes after an r at the beginning of the word for example wrong right rap wrath random words such as sod and two have the letter w silent in them okay so we are very close to the end so for the letter X, the only word that I can think of that has a silent X in them is for, which is also derived from a French word and for pause, which means to have an embarrassing moment. You would have known this if you would have followed me on Instagram. So what are you waiting for? Follow me on Instagram. So luckily, the letter Y is never silent in the English language. So we'll just skip to the last letter, the letter Z. Now the letter Z is also never silent. The only word that I can think of that has a silent Z is rendezvous, which is also derived from the French word, which means a secret meetup. So rendezvous has a silent Z in that. That is all for today's video guys. I am so happy we have completed this A to Z marathon. I really hope this video to a certain extent will help you understand the silent letters. Like, share and comment and please subscribe to my channel to watch more of my videos and follow me on Instagram.